Although not immune to decay, the pyramids have survived for nearly 5,000 years because of their sheer volume and their hot, dry desert environment. Too massive to be destroyed by either man or nature, the pyramids of Giza were the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world to survive into the modern era. Many ancient monuments have survived only because of human maintenance throughout the centuries. The Sphinx was uncovered and restored for the first time back in 1400 BC. Modern experts who have studied the Sphinx predict that without human intervention, deterioration from salts and wind erosion could render it a pile of dust within 500 to 1000 years. The largest concrete structures, like Hoover Dam, will last even longer than that. Hoover is so thick that over 70 years after it was constructed, the concrete deep inside was still curing. But of the 15 tallest dams in the United States, only 10 are concrete. The others are made of compacted rock or earth, like Northern California's Trinity Dam. If there were humans around, this leak in the dam would get an emergency fix. But those days are long gone. Some of these earth dams are absolutely enormous. If they fail, as they will in time, then the surge of water that falls in behind them and cascades down a valley below would have a huge force and big enough to sweep away everything in its path. Fifty years after humans, the strain of neglect is beginning to show on even the best designed of man-made structures. Everything that man designs carries within it the seeds of its own destruction. That includes bridges and buildings. The Brooklyn Bridge, one of the most famous bridges in the world for over 125 years. The reason that bridges last so long is because engineers look after them. They inspect them regularly, they maintain them, they paint them, they replace pieces that need to be replaced. Without people, without engineers, the deterioration process will accelerate dramatically. The most vulnerable parts of a suspension bridge are the steel vertical hanger cables. These have been tested in the laboratory, uh, fortunately not in the bridge, but, but what you see is a classic kind of a failure that occurs in these wires. These are the individual wires, all right? That's an individual wire. Um, that probably has a tensile strength that's uh, maybe 200,000 pounds per square inch. That's a very high strength steel. As strong as they are, these cables have a fatal flaw. It's the stuff they're made of. Steel is a mineral that comes from the earth. It's mostly iron. So it's probably 95, 98% iron. Exposed to moisture in the environment, iron will start to revert back to the minerals it came from. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It's gonna go back home. It came from the earth as iron oxide of some form, and it's gonna go back. This is the process we know as corrosion, and you see it wherever steel is exposed to moisture. The enemy of steel is corrosion. The problem is keeping the water out. Part of that is maintenance. If you don't maintain them, you will get corrosion. Completed in 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge cost $15 million to build. Over the last two decades, 
$3.3 billion have been spent maintaining it and the other bridges over the East River. In the time of humans, the Brooklyn Bridge was continually maintained and fully repainted roughly every dozen years. While across the country in San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge was protected at all times by a vigilant brigade of 17 iron workers and 38 painters. What do they do all the time? They will tell you, we paint this bridge continuously. What happens when that stops? I can tell you what happens when that stops. The cables begin to rust, the paint peels off, the wires begin to break, and they'll come to a point where the bridge is gonna come down. Seventy-five years after people. Most of the 600 million cars that once traveled the roads of the world are now just rusted remnants of the human past. Abandoned cars will behave differently depending on the environment that they're in. A car left in the Mojave Desert, for example, is going to last a long time. A car abandoned in my native Scotland is going to have a very different fate. Any cars in a coastal environment with salt in the atmosphere, they might not last more than 20, 30 years. Tires deflate within a few years, although the rubber and synthetics they're made of will remain intact for centuries. Paint deteriorates quickly, and once it flakes away, Rust corrodes the car's body at a rate of five thousandths of an inch per year. Seventy-five years after humans, most cars, even in the most forgiving of environments, will be reduced to skeletons. After a century, the family car is a barely recognizable heap of metal. It's now 100 years into a life after people. The Brooklyn Bridge, which had stood for over 125 years with people, can't survive even a century without them. As the cables fail, the deck and railings begin to warp and sway. The deck pulls free and the roadway spills into the East River. As an engineer, it's very sad to contemplate that this beautiful, iconic structure has got an end to its life. But without maintenance, an end to its life it certainly has. How exactly do bridges fail? Once corrosion starts, the wires begin to crack. And the wire doesn't have to have a very big crack before it breaks, maybe a third of the way through. Well, you may wonder what happens when they fail. How do they fail? Do they just break or what do they do? And the answer is they tend to shred and, and fail with individual strands starting to fail and then kind of cascading and a whole series of wires then begin to break. A suspension bridge like the Golden Gate can survive the weakening of one of its vertical cables. But once two or three start to go, the whole bridge is in jeopardy. Twisted steel crashes into the waters below. It's gonna be gone. 200 years? I doubt it won't last 200 years. The bridge, it's gonna be in the drink. If some of our largest structures have already failed after 100 years, can there be any hope that our civilization will leave a permanent mark after we're gone?